Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. In today's video, I'll be painting some fall themed objects with watercolors. I'll be painting this mushroom, apple, and acorn. If you want to paint the leaves and the pumpkin as well, I already posted those tutorials. Let's start off by painting the apple. I'm going to start off by adding a very light shade of yellow green. I got this color by adding a touch of green to my yellow paint. Next, I'll be adding our red. I'm adding this paint to the edges of the apple and allowing it to blend with the green. Here I'm leaving some white for a shine. And a little yellow paint as well. For the darkest parts of the apple, I'm adding a deep red. You can also achieve this color by mixing brown paint with your red. While the wash is still lightly damp, I'm splashing in some water for blooms. And then I'm going to allow this layer to dry. I'm adding a light layer of red. And then I'm going to paint out the stem using a small paintbrush and raw umber. I'm adding a little bit more raw umber to this edge to create a shadow. I'm going to add some red down here and blend things out. For the topmost layer of the apple, I'm going to stipple some paint on. I'm adding both red and brown paint for this layer. After adding the final details to the apple, we'll be painting the acorn. For the acorn, I'm going to start off with a mixture of yellow ochre and orange paint. Now I'm adding a saturated amount of orange.
Using a smaller round brush, I'm adding some yellow ochre. Using that same small round brush, I'm dabbing in some burnt sienna. Outline the top here. And then I'm going to fill this in with a light layer of paint. Next, using my small round brush again, I'm dabbing in some raw umber. I'm adding some brown to the top of the acorn as well. Before drying this piece, I'm going to dab in some water to create texture. After that first layer is dry, we're going to add in some details using a wet on dry technique. I'm almost drawing on my paint using a small paintbrush dipped into raw umber. To warm things up, I'm adding a light layer of orange paint. Next, I'll be adding some small details with my brown paint. After that layer dries, we're going back in with our raw umber again. I'm painting the texture of the acorn up here. If things appear too dark or harsh, you can always dip your brush into water and soften things. That's what I'm doing here. The 
This little acorn is almost complete. I'm going to add some burnt sienna here. After painting the acorn, I'll be painting the mushroom. I will start the mushroom off by painting the stem. For the stem, I'm using yellow ochre paint. After adding a light layer of yellow ochre, I'm going in with some raw umber. You'll notice I'm dabbing in some color into the wash. I'm trying to create shadows while keeping things light. I'm dabbing in more yellow ochre here. And then up top, I'm adding a very light amount of yellow ochre as well. And then allow that light layer to dry. After it dries, I'm going in with a small paintbrush dipped into red paint. I'm going to outline where the spots are on the mushroom. Over here, I'm using a deeper red where the shadow begins. Add a small amount of brown to your red if you don't have a deep red color. I'm going to continue filling in the mushroom. I want the mushroom to be darker on the left and then lighter on the right. For the lighter areas, I'm using more water with my paint mixture.
I'm dabbing in some paint here for texture. Now I just need to add some final touches to the stem of the mushroom. Using a small brush and a saturated amount of paint, I'm adding these details. The color I'm using is a mixture of yellow ochre and gray paint. Here I'm adding a saturated amount of gray paint. I'm going to add a saturated amount of gray to the top of the mushroom as well. I'm softening the lines a little with some water. And a few more lines over here. And then my mushroom is complete. And here's the final painting. Which is your favorite fall themed object? If you create anything following this tutorial, I'd love to see it. You can tag me on Instagram at painted underscore wing or use the hashtag painwingclub. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.